Hi. Hey everybody, I'm Landon, this is Lano 27 Music, and this is the Frontman 10G from Fender. And, I don't know, maybe you're wondering why I'm doing a video on this amp and how it can take on pedals. This one goes for about 59 US, 89 Canadian. Just doing these videos over the past couple years, it's made me realize in the comments, there's a lot of countries, there's a lot of, of different areas that this might be the only amp they have access to for financial reasons or distribution reasons, whatever the reason might be. Maybe this is the loudest amp somebody can play in their room or in their house. Whatever it is, this amp actually gets a lot of praise, even though it's the uh, the smallest little 10 watt amp from Fender. So I thought, you know what? Let's plug it in, mic it up, put some pedals in front of it, and just see what you can get out of it. If I don't think it sounds good, I'll, I'll mention that. I bought this amp with my own money. It was 89 bucks. Uh, just it looks pretty cool. It's, it's you know it's modeled after the regular silver face amps and. Uh, it's got a six inch speaker. Like I said, it's 10 watt solid state, two channels. It's got a clean and it's got an overdrive. You got your gain, volume, treble, and bass. I'm gonna play the pedals on the overdrive channel with, with just a slight touch of overdrive. So you can hear what that sounds like right now. It's a little bit of drive, right? And the pedals I'm gonna put in front of it, I decided to pick some pedals that are not too expensive, right? To kind of go in line with, maybe you have this amp, maybe you're just starting out a guitar. Hey, I'm not a great guitarist, but I'm, that's not the point. Anyways, what am I talking about? I get off track. I'm like a crazy train going off the rails. Horrible, horrible pun. It's not a pun. I'm losing my mind. Okay, let me get back to what I was saying. Pick some pedals that aren't too expensive. I've got a Crybaby Mini, right, from Dunlop. Got a DS1 from Boss, that's the distortion pedal. Got a Tube Screamer Mini from Ibanez, that's gonna be for overdrive. Got a TC Electronic Corona Chorus, Mini Chorus. And then on the end, I've got a, a Donner um, reverb pedal. I got a spring-loaded reverb in there. Might, I'll bring them up to let you know which one I'm actually going through. I don't have it up too loud. I'm using an SM57. I've got the gain on three, I've got the volume at three, treble at four and a half, and the bass at five and a half. So it's not overpowering right now. It's it's turned up to like a room volume. I guess it can get a lot louder. I'm gonna focus on the pedals, not so much on the amp. If you want to hear this amp more against the uh, the Vox Pathfinder, check out that video. It's gonna pop up. This little thing goes across like that, it makes a sound. Pretty sure it does anyways. Let's uh, dial in the distortion. DS1 here. See how that's gonna sound. I don't even have the reverb on, so let's kick that in. I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb to most of the video, right? That's a spring reverb. Let's turn that. Do it a little bit more. Give it a little bit more reverb and uh, add some wah to it. Here. speaker rattle or cabinet rattle something maybe it's not the best components I don't know I don't know if that even picks up in the mic we'll see we'll see I'll listen back later sounds okay I bet you it sounds better mic'd let's move on to the uh, tube screamer yeah I'll show it on the screen I'll show the, the the settings I have dialed in there just so you can see I'm not gonna play around too much with it <laughs> Wow 
was that? Corona Mini Chorus, Chorus Pedal. It's got some kind of tone print loaded in from probably two years ago. I don't recall what it was. Like I mentioned before, I, I hear some rattling in there, for sure, for sure. Okay, let's, uh, that kind of covers everything. Let's kind of add some stuff together. Distortion and Corona, let's see what we can do with that. <laughs> distortion the DS1 right <laughs> Right, pedals with the Frontman 10G from Fender. Your 10 watt solid state entry level amp. Sounded okay. I'm not lying, it sounded okay. I'm not like amazed by it. I think, I think the recordings, they're over there, the recordings are over there. I think they're gonna sound better than what I heard in the room. At least what this part of my knee heard. Cause I'm not in front of the amp, right? Okay, let me know in the comments what you thought of this amp. Yeah, give me your feedback. I'd like to hear what people think about this amp. Maybe you've had one of these. Maybe you want to get one. Maybe this is going to be your first amp. I would say it's okay for practice, for sure. You're not going to play this with a band. Don't even think about that. Maybe you can get some good recordings with it. It'll sound different in a mix, for sure. That's going to be it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. That way you'll know when other videos come out. So you won't be waiting around on the toilet. I know most of you are watching this on the toilet. On your cell phone. Smartphone your toilet phone, your can phone. As always, play guitar and have fun. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.